M -m -m Maximus Gramicus back again. Alright guys, I've been getting asked a lot in the channel, like especially while I'm streaming and stuff, uh, people coming in and, and asking about multiboxing and stuff like that. They want to know how to multibox, they want to know what's involved, what's, uh, how much does it cost, you know, what do I do? So, I've, I've watched other videos on how to set up multiboxing, how to set this up, and now I'm making my own, okay? So, so here's how it goes. This is how, this is how I set up my multiboxing for, for playing Diablo, and you can set this up the same way for multiboxing Diablo, Path of Exile, you know, a whole list, a whole variety of, of games. Okay, so I'm using software called IS Boxer. Now, this is the website here. And I'll leave the links for all these for IS Boxer and uh, and for my referral code, so you guys will be able to get an extra couple of weeks on your subscription with uh, with Inner Space if you guys choose to get this. So this is the IS Boxer website right here, and I'll make it like this so you guys can kind of see. Here we go. All right. So IS Boxer, they have a video here that you guys can watch. It's uh, it's it's not long. It's under three minutes. It's not really telling you anything more than you probably might already know from just reading this like what about what's so great about it but uh, it'll tell you how much it costs and it'll, it's a cool little video I watched it and you know, it's probably worth a watch and uh, this is there you go so you've got to you have to register for the lavish software first so you just have to register for this and then it'll let you download IS Boxer and as it says here IS Boxer is free software and then for lavish software inner space is only fifty dollars a year so inner space is a second program that runs in the background from is boxer and it basically it just controls the sync it controls your guys here and you know getting them to all move and do stuff together you know or you can turn it off and then you can just control one so inner space controls the sync of all your guys and that requires a subscription which is fifty dollars for a year or you can get it for a free week trial or you can get it for like a few month period i believe as well i paid fifty dollars for the year and and it was that was well worth it i mean that was that was a very fair price i thought so that's how much the cost is really that's just for like getting is box and inner space has a subscription that you will have to pay for but how much it's going to cost you altogether could vary on a few different things. Main things are, what kind of game do you want to multi-box? Like Diablo, or World of Warcraft, or Path of Exile, or Ion, Dark Age of Camelot, whatever. So some of these games that I just named are free. They're free to download, they're free to play. So all you would need is the, the $50 subscription for the inner space and is boxer is free to set it up and stuff so all it would cost you if you wanted to play say path of exile or or a free play game or something like that since it's free to download free to play that you just need the subscription it would only cost you 50 bucks and you could be up and playing and having some fun with a lot of cool free to play games which i may even try at some point but for now i'm playing diablo so because i have to, i'm playing diablo i had to buy the other copies of the game so another question is a lot of people you know they ho they're hoping that they're wrong they're you know they're pretty sure but they're just hoping that they're wrong yes you do have to buy another copy of diablo for every single one of these guys that you want to have in your party you know it's just like your friends they had to buy a copy of the game and they had to buy a copy of reaper of souls too you know if they wanted to come play with you alongside of you and just be your buddy here so they had to buy they had to buy Diablo 3, they had to buy Reaper Souls, just like you did. And for every other one of you guys that you want to have running in there with you, you have to have both copies of that too. So for me, I have four, so I had to buy three more copies of Classic and Reaper of Souls. Now I would recommend not, you know, say you wanted to do four, don't go getting them all at once because especially if you don't even know if your computer can handle it or if it'll work, you know, if you like it or anything, don't go getting them all at once because if your computer can't handle it or it doesn't work, well, you've already bought all the games. But unfortunately, you kind of, for me in my case, I had to buy at least one to try it because even though I could do the inner space thing for a week for free and then set it up with IS Boxer, I couldn't invite 
another player to my party to have even just one guy here with me to try it without buying at least one other copy of the game, just buying a classic. Because with the starter edition of Diablo, you can't invite players to your game, so I couldn't try it then. I mean, I could have them both in, you could have them both in separate games, and you could just, you know, push the button for the sync and then try moving them around and see if they both move together. You could try that, but if you wanted to actually get them in the same party together and just try it out and run them around with like some twos for a bit, see if you like it, then you'd have to buy it to get them in the same party together. Uh, and then Reaper of Souls if you wanted to take it up there and then however many accounts that you'd have to buy them all. But that's that's something that I, I knew and uh, I, w I was okay with so I bought all the accounts, I paid the $50 subscription for Inner Space so it was 60 to $70 I think to get the package to get both of the games for all the other guys so that's like 200 210 bucks, you know for, for the extra games and then $50 for Inner Space so me it was about $250 roughly for me to get all the games and get a year subscription for Inner Space and now to play them. So it cost me was about 250 bucks. Uh, you may have to get other things. You may have to upgrade your computer if your processor can't handle it. I mean, everyone's computer is going to be different, and I'm sure there's going to be comments of people, you know, leaving me their computer specs, asking me, "Can my computer run this?" And I could look at each and every one of them, but if you're not sure, you know, you could always catch me live in stream, and I can I can probably answer you there. I will be checking the comments, and if I can get back to you guys, I will. But you got to realize, I mean. That's a lot of work to basically just go through everybody's computer specs one by one by one and determine whether or not they could multi-box and if they didn't have everything, what do they need to upgrade? That's a computer consultant, that is an IT consultant and <laughs> people get paid very good money for that and I mean, I'm not getting paid for that but I mean, come on, really people, I don't work for free, come on. <laughs> so, I mean, I'll help if I'm on and I'm streaming and stuff, I'm working in shit anyways but, you know, otherwise, you can ask a friend, uh, you can drop me an email, you can leave something in my inbox, I mean, I'll try to get to them, but if I don't, uh, that's why people, it's because it's just, it's not my job to determine that kind of stuff, but there are ways of figuring out, and you can always just give it a try, or even call your local computer shop and tell them what kind of processor you got, and, you know, do they think that they this could run a couple of copies of Diablo or whatever you want to run, you know, uh, without that, or if you need some more RAM or something like that. And I'm sure one of their computer guys who's being paid $20, $30 an hour or more, something like that, who's just standing around with nothing to do anyway, he'd be happy to help you and assist you. So, you may need to buy computer parts. You may you need to buy copies of the game. You definitely need to buy a subscription. So you add all that together, and that's about what it's going to cost you to, to multi-box. And that's going to be different for each person. For me, it was 250 bucks. I had everything that I needed. I'll even leave my computer specs at the bottom so you guys can see what they are and maybe compare them to your own, and maybe that will help determine whether you think you can handle it or not. So, uh, all right, so that's the, the cost. That's the you need to do there. So this is the actual how to set it up now. So IS Boxer. So we've set up the account. Cool. We downloaded uh, IS Boxer. We've, uh, we've activated inner space, you know, you have to do, fill out a form, the email thing, they send you a code, you put it in, and you activate your seven day trial. All right, so that part's done. Got the software, you got inner space, you got your seven week trial active. All right, you've got your other game, you're ready to go, you wanna set it up. This is how quick and easy it is to set it up. I'm gonna have IS Boxer, I should have had this already started up. I'm not paid enough for this, people, so bear with me. Here we go. Yep, IS Boxer needs to be updated, I know, but it'll still launch. Come on. I just want to show these people how to do this. Here we are. Wizards. So this is how we're setting it up. Go to Wizards. Quick Setup Wizard. I've done this lots of times on stream, and this is how fast it is. Quick Setup Wizard. Diablo 3, choose your game. What game? You know, look at this list of games. You got all kinds of things here. You can get Minecraft, Guild Wars, Eve Online. I know some guys play Eve Online. They have a great time doing that. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, Diablo 3, Dark Age of Camelot. Oh yeah, that's such a great classic game. I wish that game. I wish they kept going with that game. 
Anyway, so you got all these games here you can choose. World of Warcraft. Alright, so I'm going with Diablo. Next. Uh, then you want to add your characters. How many people are you going to be running? How many characters are going to be on your team that you're going to be boxing? So, uh, you know, so I've got four, so I'm going to type, uh, you know, dude one. All right, and then you want to pick the game that you're going to play. So I'm playing Diablo 3. And now here's another important part, very important. You want to make this to skip the launcher. Otherwise, if you set it to the default, it's going to load the little battle net launcher thing, and your games won't load up. It'll just go to that launcher. And you know, why isn't it loading? So make sure you have this set to skip launcher, and make sure you do this with your first guy, because the rest of the guy's profiles are going to be a copy of this. So you skip the launcher. Otherwise, they'll load up the, the other thing, and it won't load properly. So we add a character to the team. We got one. Now we want to add do two. Add character. Dude 3, add character, dude 4, add character, alright, we got our team, beautiful, next, name our team, max rules, because I do, no I don't, next, alright, now we want to choose a layout, so I'm running 4, there's several different layouts from here, if you're playing a different kind of a game, other than Diablo, or something else you may you know with different amounts of games and whatnot you may want to choose a different style layout and for that I could recommend one for you based on the kind of game you're playing but for this I'm going to show you which one I'm using and that's uh, single monitor layout display one swapping avoid the taskbar even though I don't have a taskbar down there so I'm going to set to that it's not actually Oh, here it is. This one. Single monitor layout. They both read pretty much the same thing. No, that's corner layout. Single monitor layout. That's it. That's the one. Yes. I must have clicked here. Anyways. Uh, single monitor layout on display 1. This is my display 1. Swapping and avoid taskbar. Because I want to be able to swap when I click these guys windows down at the bottom I want to be able to click there and it will swap and that window will become the big main window so that's what that is and if you have a taskbar down there you know if you have one monitor and that's where your taskbar is then it'll avoid that so okay so we pick this this is what it looks like don't change these okay there is a two pixel separation between this top window and these bottom windows and you may see it when you load up your game you'll see your background a little sliver don't mess with that don't try to bring this up or down the reason that little two pixel divide is there is to separate the games so that when you're dragging your mouse to the bottom of this game over here that you're not it will it otherwise the, the cursor will disappear and it'll start to appear over in this game at the top of the menu because it's just close and the games will kind of overlap and your mouse will disappear from here and start appearing in this game before you want it to and it'll drive you insane. You, you're sitting here trying to kill stuff at the bottom or move your mouse down here and your mouse disappears and you have no idea where you're aiming stuff and it's drive you nuts. Just leave that. Next. Um, but if you do have a different game and a different layout style, you know, you can resize them and you just, you can resize them or choose a different layout, put them on different screens. That stuff is there. But uh, just how I have it, just leave that. Because if you mess with it, that's what will happen. Because I know, because I tried. Uh, maximum character frames per second. This is default set to 30. I set it up to 200 here. And this will basically just let my video card handle however much you can handle. And whatever frame rate these things can go to, as good as, or as good or as bad as they'll be. You know, it'll it'll allow it to up to 200 frames per second, even though it's not going to really get that high, especially while streaming and multiboxing. And then here, we set this down to select no CPUs and let the game do it. Hyperthreading, so it'll let the game decide how to distribute the weight of the stress of actually running all of these things and that's the best way to have it otherwise if you choose any of these other settings you go messing with it they'll run slower and I've tried that as well I tried to make it better by changing it and it made it worse so I just went to this kept it and uh, it works the best with keeping your frames per second at a stable reasonable playable level without messing with it if you know a lot and you think you can mess with it and get a better go for it 
Otherwise, just leave this the same and I think you'll be fine for it anyways. And then the last thing, choose what kind of game, how do you want to control it. For Diablo 3, action RPG standard. There's, uh, you know, bare minimum MMO standard, MMO pro for like uh, World of Warcraft maybe. Uh, just generic broadcasting, but we want action RPG standard. Now here, you can toggle broadcasting mode, and that is just the sync. That's the broadcasting mode. That's, that's this. Broadcasting on, broadcasting off, and that's just another word for the sync to get them to all move and do stuff together. So you can change the button that turns that on and off. Um, you can set it to something that's close and convenient for you on the keyboard, or you can set it up to like F9 like I have, and then just, you know, change the key binding on like your mouse to F9, you know, so that you press a button on your mouse and it turns the sync on, you know, and turns it off instead of having to press a button. I mean, if it's close on your keyboard and you like it that way, that's cool. I'm pressing this thing all the time, a lot, and I like it to be close and convenient. And for me, that easiest place is right where my thumb is on my mouse, on one of these little side buttons. So that's where I have it set to. And then we go finish. And all right, that's it. And then we go over to file, export all to interspace. Interspace configuration exported successfully. And now, if you have interspace running, which you should, and it's just something that runs on in the background, it'll just, you'll see a little window, a little bullseye crosshair in your bottom thing. And when you open it, it just looks like this. And it just runs in the background. So, and that little crosshair thing, this, that you'll see down on the, on your taskbar, you right click that. Here, let's see if I can, yeah, there we are. So you come here, you right click this, and you go to character sets, and then you've got your character sets that you've created. So I just made max rules, that's the one I just made, and you launch that, click that, and all your games will boot up, sign in, and have fun. Uh, if you want, you can launch them individually. You can launch an individual slot. So say just one of these guys drop, you can just launch that one game to reboot that one game if you want. But again, I wouldn't even still do this because sometimes you pick the wrong one and it's not the right one. You know, you thought it was number two, but it was number four, whatever. So what I'd always just do is launch the character set and if I launched this and this is how it loaded and everything and then you know one or two some guys dropped I don't know which one I don't care so I would just go back click this launch the whole set again and the guys that are still open that still have the games open that are in it will just refresh those games and the ones that don't have it open it will just boot them up so then you don't have to guess which ones were dropped so whatever ones, it'll just boot them up and that's that's just about it yeah, that's uh, that's all I really wanted to show you guys. That's that fast. It's that easy. And I hope this helped. And if I missed anything, you know, just leave a message or a comment at the bottom, and uh, and I'll answer it for you. And I'll leave the link for IS Boxer, and uh, for my referral code, so you guys can get an extra couple weeks on your subscription for free, uh, at the bottom, and a link for my stream as well. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope it was easy set up for you. Any other problems? Just contact me. All right. Thanks, guys. Cheers.